I've been interested in chemistry, physics, and maths since I was at high school in Indonesia. My parents wanted me to study medicine, but when I came to UNSW as a student, I chose chemical engineering. I'm proud that all these years later, I'm now a professor at UNSW and honored to be elected to both Australian Academy of Science and Academy of Technological Sciences and Engineering. In our lab right now, we are designing catalyst systems that can use energy from the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide to a sustainable and renewable source of fuel. The light from the sun will activate a catalyst to split water to hydrogen. The hydrogen will then react with carbon dioxide to form methanol and hydrocarbons, which can be further refined to produce liquid fuels. We are transforming the way we treat greenhouse gases, which means one day we might not need to import fuel from overseas. My current research has attracted $2.38 million in funding from the Australian Research Council and UNSW Australia's strong links to industry means that we can attract commercial interest in our work. The public perception of chemical engineers can be negative, but we are actually doing some very positive and exciting things, such as securing sustainable energy supplies. I've never felt discriminated because of my gender. It's a very supportive profession.